everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I'm going to do a traveling open cut pour, my favorite pour. So let's go over my paints. My base coat is um, the Blick Titanium White mixed with just a little dab of the Amsterdam Titanium Bluff Light. Just to, just to take a little bit of that bright white off tone it down just a little bit. I have quite, quite a few paints to go over here. My first one is the Parage Posse Ocean Teal Blue. Very pretty color. My next paint is DecoArt Extreme Sheen Jadeite. And a lot of these are leftover paints from a painting I did, uh, a really big painting that I did, a 30 by 48. My next paint is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. My next paint is Golden Iridescent Copper Fine. And I'm showing you the consistency here. I did add water to some of these. Kind of uh, more on the thin side today. The next paint is DecoArt Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. My next paint is Folk Art Color Shift Aqua Flash. Very pretty color. My next paint is just called Mysterious, and I just have a little dab of that left. It's a paint that I made up myself with four different paints, and I'm just going to try and use that up. Uh, my next paint is Amsterdam, combination of the Prussian blue and Payne's gray. Very dark, dark, dark blue here. My next color is uh, Amsterdam, greenish blue. One of my favorite colors. My next paint is Master's Touch, turquoise green. My next paint is Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. And all my paints today were mixed two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I did add a squirt of GAC 800 and a squirt of the Liquitex Gloss uh, Pouring Medium. And I did add water for consistency to make all my paints the same consistency. So what I'm going to do is um, stop the camera, get my base coat down, get my little cup ready, and then I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back and I am speeding up this uh, part of the video here with a voiceover. There I just showed you a color called Amsterdam Carmine. I, just, I looked at my paints and I just thought that I needed a, a little something brighter for this uh, painting because I had a lot of blues and a lot of greens. Uh, and so I decided to go with that carmine, which is a really pretty red color. And here I have my cup down and I'm just starting to fill my cup. Um, I had put a little bit of the base coat around that cup to help it move. And I'm not really putting these paints in any particular order, except I am trying to be mindful of not putting um, the carmine right next to any of the greens because that um, may cause a muddy uh, result. Here you can see the paint coming up from underneath that cup and all the cells that uh, are showing up. Uh, that was pretty exciting. Here's that mist. A mysterious color almost gone there and here I am helping the cup a little bit I'm just twisting it a little bit I like to do that twisting motion I just think it really um, gives uh, the painting a little added interest there again a little bit more twisting to help it move and that's the gold there copper 
And here I felt safe to add that carmine in again. And you're going to see after I uh, finish putting the paints on and I do the tipping that uh, I think the carmine kind of saved the show on, on this painting. Turned out beautiful. Here I'm at, I decided I'm going to add a little bit of the base coat too, which was a good idea. I'm going to have plenty, plenty of paint on this uh, canvas, as you'll see when I start to tip. And here you can see I'm starting to scrape those little cups out. I am running to the end of some of the paints. Now I'm just tipping that cup. And eventually I do I just 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 do help it help it along there to the end of the canvas. So as of right now, you can see it's pretty colorful. I'm pretty happy with it. Just giving it a quick torch here. And now I stand back and look at it, and I decide that there is one area right where I set that cup that it's just a little bit too much just green and blue there, and I needed something a little more for the eye to look at. So that's where I decided to add that carmine in a couple of the other paints, I had some left, so I'm just finishing those off. Never be afraid to play with your painting or add a little something. And I wanted to add this before I started tipping because I thought it would blend in much better. Okay, just giving it that twisting motion. And as you can see, I did add a little bit more color in that area. I, I was much happier with it. A little bit more of the torching going on just to see what we're going to bring up here. And here in that green area, I decide I'm going to take my skewer and just add a few lines in there and some swirls. Just a little more for the eye to look at. Okay, here we go with the tipping, and you can see I do have a lot of paint on this canvas, but I am being mindful of trying to keep on the canvas some of those brighter colors. And I decide I can run off some of that paint on that edge there. And I really did want to keep that carmine there in the lower right hand corner. You can see it there, I'm trying to uh, preserve that. You can see as I'm tipping here, I'm starting to pull out some of the colors and the effect that it gives is, um, is really nice. I've stretched them out quite a bit. Now I'm just taking my stick there, my little popsicle stick, and I'm taking the base coat and I'm just adding some lines of that white color in there. Just again, a little bit more for the eye to look at. And I am trying to run it along the lines that are already there instead of against, against the flow, it's with the flow. Just still adding those lines. A little bit more tipping here. I'm pretty sure that I tip off almost all of that on that edge. Still pulling the paints out. Cleaning the edge off. 
or cleaning the bottom off of the painting. Just running a little bit more paint off here. Just to, oh, I'm just taking my skewer here and there's some cells there that are just drawing some lines through because they were like big blobs and I wasn't happy with that. So by running the skewer through, I kind of connected them and it made it look it made it look a lot better. Cleaning off the bottom here. Checking the sides and the corners. Giving it another quick torch. I think I'm pretty happy with the okay, composition. Everybody. Here we are for our close up. And I'm I'm really um pleased with how this painting turned out. This is the upper left-hand corner. Just going down the left-hand side here. And I'll point out some of the areas I think are really pretty. I do like how the copper came through here. This is the lower left-hand corner. And the carmine that I added, I'm really glad that I did add that there. The carmine with the purple. I'm just going up the middle here. Very colorful painting. Got some nice lacing in here. And coming to this part, this is probably one of my favorite spots of the whole painting is right in here. Get it, try and get it focused really well for you. A lot of sparkly going on. And I did get just a little bit of negative space here at the bottom right hand corner. And we'll just go up the right hand side. Here's where I use the skewer just to play with those uh, cells a little bit, give them a little more interest. And here is the upper right hand corner. I did want to point out this area. That's really pretty in there too. Okay, everybody, let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Um, ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd be very appreciative to help it grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.